to express the experience I had that so that day. And, and, and the song goes like this. I know many of you know it. It says, Everything Everything Lord you are Everything tells you exercise yourself to godliness what is it trying to tell you live where god is to think where god thinks from to relate where god relates from when that pain comes what does the word of god say none in zion shall say i am sick so you start exercising yourself to refuse to say to refuse to say that you are what sick that's a man exercising <laughs> praise god in the spirit realm do you know what you're doing you're boasting your health gym some of us when we start praying when we start praying oh my goodness we are like in a gym father i thank you because i'm fearfully and wonderfully made i thank you because everything is working for my good i cannot fail i know who i am i know what is in me my body is the embodiment of the holy spirit and all things are of god my heart is of god my kidneys are of god my liver is of god how can it be sick oh tell your neighbor exercise yourself join our online family Spread the love and follow us on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And subscribe to our YouTube channel. Finero, make manifest. Oh, your mercy never fails me. Oh, my God. I've been held in your head. From the moment that I wake up. Till I lay my head Oh, I will see All the goodness of God So my life you have been faithful All my life you have What is eternal life? To know the one true God and his only son, Jesus woman of god at one particular point honey you're going to have to open that bible and get your man back home oh please pray he disappeared bring him back hallelujah get into the word and say in the name of jesus rakasata robosa why because the word of god says get back your jobs in the name of jesus build back your ministries pastors through the word hallelujah get back your wives and children receive them back Stop asking people to pray for you Monday to Sunday to Tuesday to Wednesday. You don't need 20,000 people with you. Uh -uh. Get the oil. The money will come. Understand the oil. Your ministry will grow. Understand the oil. Favor will befall you. Understand the oil. You'll stand before kings and not before mean men. Understand the oil. Hey! Go for the fatness of the oil. The word that I speak to you, it is spirit and it is life. Pursue the word of God. Allow it to sink in your spirit. Let it enter in you day and night. Hallelujah. Listen to it in the bathroom. Listen to it in the car. Listen to it in your bedroom. Walk with it in the word. Confess it. Keep saying it. Do it everything. Get the oil. Tell your neighbor, get the oil. Join our online family. Spread the love and follow us on our Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel Finero make manifest he can do beyond what you dream he can do beyond what you pray for he can do beyond what you think you see you can say oh probably dreams I have no control over dreams but you see I have control over my thoughts and I can think anything I can think so wild that half of the earth is broken and it belongs to me and it says, and I can still do exceedingly, abundantly above that which you can think, according to the working power that worketh in us. Now, the man which dreams with the spirit can imagine just how much they are able to do by the person of the Holy Ghost. Just think. Don't, don't trash it. No, no. Just think about it. The Bible says, all test and see that the Lord our God is good. 
Blessed, that is happy, fortunate, is the man who trusts and takes refuge in him. As for the rich in this world, charge them not to be proud and arrogant and contemptuous of others. Not to set their hopes on answered riches. But on God, who richly and ceaselessly provides us with everything. That means, woo, God is going to provide for you until you die. Those who walk out on you, it's okay. If they denied you the job, that is still what? Get the attitude right. You just go back and say, Rabba Katalaba. Something bigger is coming. I'm overqualified. I'm rested in God. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above that which I dare to think or ask according to the working power that worketh in me. To Guamu! Just brush it out and move on. That's the attitude. Transaction requires doors and windows. Because windows help this way and doors help this way. In the physical realm, doors are the essence. In the spiritual realm, windows are the essence. Never forget that. So doors complete the transaction of the law of exchange. That is how we make it. There is no other way. There is a man in this world, there is a woman in this world that has your door. And the day you stand before them, whether they want it or not, they must open it. That's why I tell people, there is a place for available men. And that place for available men opens men. And that place for available men opens up vacuums beyond many men can define parts. There are things in the spirit realm that are available. The, oh, eye has not seen, ear has not had. You're earning five million shillings. You're going in Bufunda, those little small joints to eat cheap food. You get tapeworms and ringworms and every worm, every hookworm, you go to hospital to deworm yourself because you ate recycled food and then that recycled food messes up your belly and then you go to hospital with food poisoning. That is poverty. Come on, if God has blessed you, enjoy. The Bible says, for it is the pleasure of the Lord that you enjoy the good things he has given you. Ah. These are things they are proposing to you. First date, he takes you out. Order for a glass of water or juice. Order for your first meal and say, so, uh -huh, tell me, why is the hypnosis? This is eternal life. That you might know the one true God and his only son, Jesus. When you go through a situation, open your Bible. When your husband chucks you, Musomere Nyiriri. Get into your car business and close the door and tell it now we need to talk. Do you know? The key to access is faith. And so he tells us, because we have this priest, don't lose the way you speak. Don't lose your confession. Speak a certain way. Confession is not just an agenda you set and program your mind to do. No. It's an exercising of your spirit into mastery. And any man who has mastered the art of confession has certain results. I'm not talking about people who speak positively. I'm talking about people who have mastered the art. What do I mean by mastering the art? You get to a point where regardless of what the devil sends, your spirit is alert enough through the critical wisdom of God to pick it and know this is the devil wanting me to confess things a certain way. Never change your confession for anything. In Hebrews chapter 2, he says, Since the word we are speaking is true, we ought to pay much close attention than ever to the truths that we have heard, least in any way we should drift past them and slip away. In fact, the literal translation of drifting past and sleeping away is the exact opposite of holding fast. That means, if a man is not holding fast, they are sleeping away. So you see here, God doesn't say, the devil will take you away. No, you're the one who is sleeping away. You're drifting. It's your responsibility. Because life and death are in the power of the tongue. In Proverbs 21 verses 23, he says, watch your words, hold your tongue. You will save yourself from a lot of grief. We're just not talking about speaking. We're talking about mastery. When you understand this mastery, you take a hold even of the sayings of your heart. 
because some people don't know but even their hearts speak that is why the bible says in psalms 19 verses 14 let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight many things come to righteous men worse news can come but how built are you how steady are you how composed are you how much tenacity is inside you that things will come and still find you hard there is no easier way but there are only harder believers that when iron comes to bite iron goes back and tells other irons that this guy is harder than iron when you're thrown in the fire you burn more than the fire itself but the fire goes back and tells them we thought we were burning but that man burned somebody shout hallelujah praise god i wish you know who you are he says you are a chosen generation a peculiar people the bible says he called out of darkness into his marvelous light that should you show forth the praises of him